What's going on YouTube? Today is day number eight of the $1,000 account challenge and today I am down $2.16. So we've officially did it. We hit our first red day in the challenge since the start of the challenge. Not a bad red day, kind of a break even day. Really what put me red on the day was commission, but I want to walk you through the trades. It's just a stark reminder here that I need to really follow my rules. I broke my rule for one trade and I profited on that trade, but had I stayed patient, I would have made a bit more money. So let's break it down and check it out. We're going to start off on the day trade watch list. Had a big watch list today, a lot of potential today, but really only looking for one specific thing on each stock. So it wasn't that overwhelming. Tesla was a short idea below $237. I liked the range that Tesla was building at uh, the on the daily chart time frame, which is this kind of minor range right here. I was looking for the breakdown. We get the breakdown on Tesla. So we decide to go short, place a short trade on Tesla. One minute time frame. We get the move down early, breaking $237 right here. That's going to be our confirmation to take the trade short. However, it's within those first five minutes. And if you know what I do and how I trade, I do not trade in those first five minutes. So we let this initial drop pass us, right? We, we let that pass us by as the stock continues to fall. So my thinking here is every prior support should become a new point of resistance. And if that resistance is reclaimed, then the stock is no longer downtrending. So when the stock breaks down and rallies back up to that old support, treating it as new resistance, I go short on the trade here. Great, I'm looking good. We're green right away on the trade. The stock keeps falling, falling, falling. I'm actually up about 15% on this trade at one point at the lows here and I make the decision not to take my profits and I've been preaching if you watch my previous videos the point of this challenge in the beginning is not to make money it's to take the profits when they're offered this is mistake number one that I made I did not take my profits when they were offered here on Tesla had I did that it would be a green day so I don't take my profits here. The stock rallies back up. I don't wait on it to break this resistance over here, which I'm glad I didn't. I wound up cutting this trade over here for a break-even trade. So it was, it was a washout. I made zero money. I lost zero. I think I lost $1 just because of slippage, uh, but then paid commission fees on, on this trade itself. So pretty much a washout trade. Then we get a rally up to... Uh, close to $237, right? And so I don't go short on the first retest because I'm waiting to see, is this going to continue to rally from here or not? Um, so we get a bunch of consolidation, bunch of, bunch of consolidation. Then I see a rally up to 237 and a hard rejection and this volume coming in. And at this point, I'm thinking this, excuse me, this is our confirmation. This is going to drop from here. So it rallies back up. I take the short entry here. We get the move down and I'm almost up 10%. I'm literally one tick off from taking my profits at 10%, and we don't get the move further. It rallies right back up, and instead of me taking a, a, a close to, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have taken profits on this anyways. It wasn't offered 10%, but instead of me getting profits on this trade right here at the bottom, I wound up closing it out over here for close to a 10, actually a little over a 10% loss. So that was the Tesla trade washout and then a 10% loss on this. And had I just taken the profits over here, this trade here, I would have been break even on that. And then my next trade on AMD would have put me green on the day. So on AMD, what happened? Let's go to the day trade watch list. We had AMD as a long idea above $135. Now check this out. AMD long at 135, which is right here. The stock is now trading at 138.5 and it's still pushing still pushing but i tried to do something slick here and go long at the previous day's close not a bad idea i got a really good entry we get the rally up to 135 dollars and a rejection a pullback and i'm thinking at this time old resistance at the previous high of day there here and here should be new support right here and it happens it's true it holds i go long right here we're green on the trade right away I'm up about 15%. I don't take the profits. I'm looking for 20%. We get this rejection candle and then the next candle up. I didn't like the consolidation. I thought that this was going to pull back from here. And so I wound up just saying, you know what? Let me take my profits at 10%. This is going to put me break even on the day. Um, and, and so 
I went ahead and took the profits when they were offered because I didn't want to make the same mistake that I made on Tesla earlier, which is not taking the profits when they were offered. And in this scenario, had I waited one more minute, I would have been up 20% on this trade. Or had I just waited and followed my rules, which is wait for a break of 135, wait for a break of the trigger level before taking the entry, I might have done something where I go long on this candle as it's breaking above for this run. But I missed this trade because I took this trade and I didn't want to, um, you know, continue to over trade for the day. I was looking for the pullback. We just didn't get the pullback retest of 135 before this thing continues all the way up now almost to $139. So a couple of things to take away here on this uh, uh, on this day. Take your profits when they are offered. Now, what I did do well was I cut the positions when they weren't working. You know, if we look at Tesla trades, I cut the Tesla trade when this wasn't working for break even. Even though I was up 15%, it's better to cut it at break even than to let it continue to go against me. This could have been a 20% loss easily. So that is one thing, one positive takeaway that I could take from this. Though the real lesson is take your profits when they're offered. Here, I think I did good because we weren't offered 10%. And I cut the trade the moment that it wasn't working, even though it rejected later on and continued down. Um, in this scenario, I think I made the right choice by cutting it. I, and it was early. It was probably at the top of this candle into the start of this candle. I did not wait for it to get all the way up to the top to cut it. That could have easily been another probably 15 or 20% loss that I was managed, uh, you know, slightly over a 10% loss there. So... Break even on the day, um, but technically red with those uh, with those commission fees. So, lesson learned, man. Lesson learned. Just take the profits when they're offered, and let's continue to grow this account and build that profit margin. Uh, by the way, if you don't know, my name is Gates. I'm taking one thousand dollars. I'm day trading options to see how far that we can grow this account. Uh, right now, we're on day eight of the challenge. We've had all green days up to this point, and it's not a bad red day. You know, I'm not going to let this affect my confidence at all. But just some stark reminders that I need to continue to follow my rules, which is take the profits when they're offered and tr stop trying to do slick stuff like taking entries prior to the trigger level break. Had I just waited for confirmation, this would have really been a nice gainer for me. Okay, thank you for watching. Press that like button for me if you haven't done so already. And subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for your time. Take care, and I'll see you in chat.